First Basket, the notorious and classic 2001 anime that sprung into the air on July 5th and ended on December 27th of the same year. Overall, the ratings for Fruits Basket is pretty good, which may seem like my opinion, well, unpopular. Now, if you have no clue what this anime is, let me explain. Fruits Basket follows the main protagonist, Toru Honda. Earlier within the show, she is seen living in a tent. She is an orphan and has no home. The story explores her life after meeting Yuki Kyo and Shigurei Soma, who give her a home. I expected to only have tiny doubts of living with one man and two teenage boys, she didn't worry. That was until she found out that they are all members of the Zodiac family due to the possession of these spirits who cursed the Soma family long ago, and that they would change into these Zodiac animals when hugged by the opposite sex, stressed, or weak. To make matters worse, the men were stripped when changing back to human form. So, many people would expect to say that I love this anime, but they would be wrong. Many refer to this anime as a classic, but for me, it was terrible. The only reason I believe this is because the build-up for who Toru would fall for was too strong, and sadly resulted in no choice. I feel that anyone who reads this manga that ran from 1998 to 2006 would agree. The anime was honestly created to early for its time when the story wasn't completed. It left so many questions such as, who is the family leader truly? Who does Toru end up with? Will they continue a happy life? Now all these questions were produced and given in the manga. The storyline was so strong within the manga series and often caused readers to cry, such as myself. Now, considering that some may not have read the manga, they may think it's amazing, but I beg whoever to read it first, and I'm sure you would agree. It was ended too early. The show has failed to show the dynamic changes within side characters such as Hatsuhara, Saki, Ritsu, Momiji, Hiro, and Kisa, and more importantly, the family leader, Akito, who was the most underrated change who had the most underrated change in manga history. Unlike the show, the manga allows readers to feel for these characters, relate, and even connect. Not to mention, the anime's ending was rushed in the last two episodes, and it gave much of a build-up. The story's biggest mistake was a lack of patience, and because of this, the reboot will be released. Luckily, Funimation released a trailer two months ago on, this, on the day of recording this, and the trailer it claims to have the complete story and the art just seems really majestic and beautiful. Hopefully viewers like me, who prefer the manga over the show, will be satisfied by the storyline. Hopefully, like I said, it will go according to the manga and we'll get those answers to those questions that many of the people who haven't read the manga probably end up having. I really want them to go and get more into Akido's story because Akido is one of my favorite characters in manga history, even though he's known as a bad guy. For now, I'll be in the corner waiting for Funimation's release of Fruits Basket.